the video on there. So you can actually shut that window from the inside as well. So if it starts to rain, so you're having to go outside to do it. And open again. That's red right bar up there. It's, it's velcroed to the inside of the camper and it stays there all the time. So all you do <clears throat> when you pull your main part of your camper over, flips over like that. You walk inside, you grab that pole, you walk out with it, have someone on the outside, put your two vertical poles up. And they put attach those ropes that you can see through there. And it's up, that's it. <clears throat> now the floor, it's the heavy duty PVC. It's the floor you're looking at there. Charlie, it's, um, as you can see. Oh, leaf. No rips or tears. It's perfect. <coughs> the, outs the outside door is the same. It velcros at the bottom. Underneath the bed, <coughs> those eggshells stay with me, mate. That mattress there, that's your mattress, and that one underneath. Self-inflating type. You can do that. That goes with it. Underneath the bed. Under there you can get to the trailer. Underneath that mattress there. To get to inside the trailer when the camper's up. <coughs> right. Okay. That's your kitchen. Set up. <coughs> I actually made that other piece there. Gives you a little bit more kitchen. Now that's, that fits just inside your, uh, so that's all inside your, um, your annex. <coughs> Zipper there, that's where your other side of your annex zippers to. That gas stove, I'll throw in part of the deal. have your knives and forks drawer. Pull out little sink. It's a little tap. <coughs> Just that hole there. That ho two hoses or the one hose, whichever one you're going to use, comes up through there. Straight up connects to the bottom of your tap just there. inside, the, not right, I can show you inside the trailer, just all my stuff in there. I will show you the floor though, Charlie. Always had the carpet on it. Protect it. That's what the floor looks like. So, <coughs> perfect condition. Those bolts there. It's where the water tank bolts onto underneath. As well as your uh, NX roof that's here, it zippers onto the camper by the way of that zipper. There, and you have a little day that does it. <coughs> now, this NX roof can be substituted for. just a simple shade that comes out the same width as the annex it's just a um, silver tarp that's all been had a zipper put onto it 
So if you're only pulling up for a day, you don't have to put the annex roof on, you can just have the shade over your kitchen. And in saying that, if you've got your annex roof on the back and you still want protection over your drawbar and your front door and your window, there is also another zipper here, which does the same thing. So that little shade that was over the back can now zip on the front, comes out just over your drawbar. Let's move out there. That's your PVC cover. Goes over right over the top of the whole thing. <clears throat> and they can be undone. If you ever wanted to take that off, just unbolts, two bolts, and that whole stone guard zips off. Three half ton A T thirty five inch. The only other thing that I haven't got on Charlie that I took off, that I will put back on, is underneath the jerry can right through. As you would have seen in some of the other photos, was the tube holders. There's four 90 mil stormwater pipes that I've grouped together that go underneath there. You can see where the U bolts hung vertically off that chassis to put your poles in, some of your poles in. <clears throat> I'll discuss that with you later anyway if you want me to put them back on. That's about it mate. <clears throat> Beautiful morning, being able to put the uh, camper up, it's been great.